Can you believe the day is finally here? A special day to celebrate our love over a decade in the making. I love you, sweet boy, and I'll see you at the altar. Here, Emma. Emma, I can't see a future with you not beside me. I have fallen more in love with you every single day. Thank you for being you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being my wife now and forever. You are Matthew. I hope you are all in a mood to celebrate because we have a happy task before us. We're going to see Emma and Matthew get married. So, Emma, Matthew, here we are. This is a big moment in your lives. Emma. <laughs> I love you. I know I'm far from perfect, but from this day forward, I promise that every day I will strive to be better than I was the day prior. To my dearest Matthew, there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of vows that I could make to you today. And each and every one of those promises lives here in my heart. But today, I will make the one vow that lies at the foundation of all the rest. I vow to never give up on you. I promise to protect you, to provide for you, and to always lay down a path for our family to follow. I will love you, cherish you, and honor you for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do his part. I vow to never give up on us. I vow to do the work needed for a healthy, lasting relationship, today and every day for the rest of my life. In such moments, it's good to acknowledge those who helped bring you to this point, and no one, no one is more important than your inner circle of loved ones. Will Larry, Tammy, and Levi please stand? Although Mike and Lisa are only here spiritually, I believe we all wholeheartedly know their answers. Do you welcome this marriage? Yes. yes. Do you promise to embrace this couple as a part of your family? Yes. Do you promise to celebrate their accomplishments and to give them the best of your counsel and care when they face adversity? Yes. Thank you. You may be seated. So, you're off to a great start. You're terrific people. You're deeply in love and you should look to the future with great confidence. In the years to come, I think that you'll find that your love is going to grow and develop in new and beautiful ways. I predict that you'll look back with justifiable pride and that the life you have created together. <laughs> and now, by the power vested in me by the great state of Minnesota, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. First of all, we'd like to thank each and every one of you being here today. Thank you so much for joining us and bringing our families, one, two, three, and four, all together. I love you. If you know these two, you know them well. Because when I first met Emma, she, I knew exactly who she was. She took me out to a baseball game immediately. She took me to the zoo. She took me everywhere she wanted me to see. And so it's just great to see these two come together as a family, as loved ones. I love you too. I love you. <laughs> I've known him as long as I've known Abby, and uh, he is truly my oldest friend. My oldest friend, Emma. You're the yin to his yang. You're sweeter than a purple people eater. That's a Dave and Buster reference, if no one knows. Where's my DMB crew right there? But thank you, Matt. I love you. And one time, I don't know why he said I'm honored to stand here today as the brother of our wonderful bride, and now the brother of our groom as well. Emma, mom and dad are proud of you. I'm proud of you. Okay, I'm not gonna cry. Okay, okay. so we are gonna do a toast. And on the count of three, we're all gonna kickstart to Matt and Emma. One, two, three. Woo!